What is the process like? How many photos do you have to take? Like, how long does it take to actually picture an item? Like, I'm curious what what big ticket items like that and the type of uh, photographic differences between taking pictures of an item or doing artistic photography. So a lot of questions I just threw at you there. So (laughs) well, let me take whichever one you want. (laughs) Okay. All right. Let me, uh, let me start with the difference between, uh, you know, the working day and then, and then creating artistically. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I like to think of kind of, you know, what does the photograph need to be? And that, that applies artistically and uh, it applies, you know, for the, for the, the business auction world. Um, with an item that is coming up for, for auction, it's, it's really uh, clarity. You want to show in one photograph, you know, you want to find the best angle that shows the most amount of detail uh, so people can see what they're getting. That is what those pictures need to be. Um, you know, they need to be... Uh, Good enough so that someone looking at it online can get a sense. Oh, if I was there in person, I would, you know, this is how I would see it. Um, so I don't try to put. I, I really don't try to put too much creative thought into some of the straightforward stuff. Now, if it's a big, if it's a big item like the Darth Vader, the Robbie the robot, you know, we'll schedule a full day. Uh, to shoot, and then I'll do creative because I know some of those shots are going to go for, you know, the cover of the auction catalog. Mm, yeah, that's that's where creativity comes into in in that process. Um, you know, with the artistic photography, yes, there is that sense. What does the the photo you know need to be, and also, what am I trying to say, uh, you know, with the the photograph. Um, so yeah, there there are similarities, but uh, in that, I I like to think of the work as something that's outside of myself. Mm-hmm. Um, in that, uh, you know, I don't identify myself with my photography. It, that might seem a little weird, but if I take a photo that I really that I really like, and I think, oh, this is good, I enjoy it for about 24 hours. You know, and and I'm like, okay, I like this. I'm proud that I, I did it. Now, the weird thing is, I I can still appreciate the shot, but but after that, it, it's like it's not a part of me. It it's out, and and I can come back to it and go, oh yeah, that's a that's a good shot. But I never feel like I made that shot. Uh huh. You know, I I know intellectually that I did. It's just emotionally, I I guess I've released it out into the world, and and I'm I'm kind of done with it. Uh. Yeah, it's a, a weird thing, but um, I think it, it, it works for me. Um, it works for me because it just, my ego never gets into that sense like, oh my God, I've taken all these great photographs. It's like, <laughs> no, I I feel, you know, I feel like an amateur. I feel like that amateur kind of mindset when I'm I'm photographing. It's still a struggle. It's, it's still like, ah, uh, you know am I going to get this? Am I going to do this right? Am I going to, you know, is this going to work? Yeah. Um, and, and I like that. I, I, I think if you get comfortable with that creation process, then uh, I, I just think you don't create interesting work. 